I'm going to try to show you what I can do uh, in uh, 30 minutes with a beautiful uh, appliance here called Multiplo from Scholtes. Um, what I love about it first, it's, it's sexy. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> and it's easy to clean. Um, so what I love about Multiplo is it's, basically, it's always there. You know when you have to bend over to go and get all your pots and pans and so on? Well, look at that. You've got induction at the bottom and you've got two inserts like this. You've got a big one like that. And I haven't even started yet. Um, but what you can do with it is basically everything. You put a little bit of water in here and you put a little basket there, and you can steam a piece of fish. Bok choy, mushrooms, whatever you want. Steam, healthy. Or you can put some water in there and then blanch. You can cook your pasta. Or you can put some oil in here, and then you can deep fry in one appliance. Am I doing good so far? Yeah. All right. Um, I've used this the first time uh, about six months ago and I was amazed, I did a couple of recipes, I did uh, peas à la française and I did a little um, um, potato gratin which I had to, by the time I sliced the potato the cream was already boiling, it's that fast. So you've got two elements here, you've got one, two or you can do the two together as well. So let's start with one first. On with the push of a button, two, and then I'll take it to the maximum, which is 16. All right. Now, if you've got any problems with my French accent, <laughs> that's right. If you buy my cookbook, there's no French accent in the recipes. Anybody have got my cookbooks here? So no one goes to the restaurant, no one buys my cookbook. <laughs> How am I supposed to make money here? All right. Um, I'm going to cook you one of my favorite recipes, and the recipe that has been at L'Etoile restaurant in Paddington. The number is 9223. Um, um, it's my scallop sausage, which is also called the silky sausage, and also called Manus sausage. <laughs> I never got a complaint, by the way. <laughs> All right. So, this is already hot. I love it. I'm going to start. Shh. <laughs> um, I'm going to do by making the sauce to start with, because where is? That's right. I just wanted to show you that you can make a sauce in a beautiful sauce in half an hour. A bit of olive oil. So I'm going to make a bisque. A bisque is um, made from crayfish, crab, scampi, or blue swimmer crabs, or prawns. Look at this. Is it a beautiful crab? That's what I love about Australia is the women, sorry, the, the seafood. <laughs> the seafood is fantastic here. <clears throat> um, but I've got to show you how to deal with a crab. How do you do this? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Take the first shell off. Now you've got the brain meat here, which is very important that you need to keep. Because that's where all the flavor is. This is called the lady's fingers, which is the lungs that you really need to take out because it's quite bitter. And that's it. Everything else is edible. There's a knife on oh, here. And all you need to do is cut in few pieces. and throw in there. See, hot and smoky. Look at that. I've got three, four crabs here. 
Mmm. Can you smell this? I just farted. <laughs> Smells good, doesn't it? Okay, you need to... Um, all you need to do here is to make sure that all the little pieces of crabs here are well caramelized. Thank you. This is very important process here. And in there I'm going to put some leeks. Some fennel. Fennel is very important in this recipe. It gives a beautiful flavor of um, aniseed. A bit of carrot. Shallots. And of course, garlic. Voila. So far, so good? Yes. Smell good? Yes. All right. Thank you. Here I've got some uh, coriander seeds, fennel seeds, and star anise. Just a little bit of fragrance. And so far, look how clean it is. I've done no mess whatsoever. Bit of brandy. You just want to check, check it's good. Oh, come on! So boring. The first group, they didn't have booze. You've got booze, you've got no excuse. All right, all right. Milk, uh, sorry, um, white wine? Yeah, because uh, we cook with a lot of booze in France. All right. Voila. A little bit of tomato paste. And some tomatoes. Now, I use tea tomatoes because they're really, really ripe, really concentrated. Italians, they love using uh, tin tomatoes if um, the season is gone. Well, the best thing to do is go to the market, buy a couple of cases and leave them in the back of the house until they're like this and make a beautiful passata. All right. So any of you like uh, my kitchen rooms? Yes. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear anything. Yes. Uh, who? <laughs> Is the, the other brand behind you? Um, um, Definitely much better than the other show on Channel 10, isn't it? Yes. Definitely. I mean, it's a similar show, but there's a huge difference. Yes. Huge. The difference is they've got three fat guys running the other one and two gorgeous ones doing the one. <laughs> eh? 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 All right. So. Have I got everything in here? Can you remember what I put in there? Sure? Who wants a book? All right, so what did I start with? The crabs? The leek? I, oh, smart ass. Crab, leeks, shallots. Oh, okay, you got me, you got me, you got me, you got me. I know, I just thought, when, when I see a woman looking at me like this, I don't think they're listening to the recipe. Okay, so now we're going to do the boudin. And boudin is another word, sexy French word for sausage. So if you see on the menu a scallop sausage or a petit boudin de Saint-Jacques, which one are you going to go for? Right? 
No, frankly. All right. So, thank you very much, boss. So here I've got 250 grams of white fish, and the fish I like to use, I've, I've done this recipe many, 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 more than many times. The fish I find the best for this is flathead. I like to catch it myself first, and then 250 grams. And what you need to do is a paste. So this is fish, as we know, protein. We need a little bit more protein in this recipe, so we're gonna put egg white. And egg white, basically, is the glue. If you know what I mean. Giza. Okay, now I've got 250 grams of fish for 250 grams of scallops. Would you like to cut this for me, chef? Uh, the scallops, I'm just going to cut little dice that I'm going to be able to fold in to the mixture. So I've just put a bit of water in here, which now makes a stock. And I'm going to boil this stock for about, oh, I should say 20 minutes, but we're going to spit it up here, because you're not going to be wa waiting for me to... Uh, to make the stock all the way through. All right. Are you talking about uh, the match you watched this morning or you just, no? Okay. Look at this, I've got a beautiful here, a beautiful fish paste basically, which is 250 grams of fish and 90 grams of egg whites, which is about three eggs, really. Are you happy with that? Yeah. All right. Now, as we know, the French have got to use some fat in their cooking, either butter or cream. But I decided that I need to look after myself, so I don't want to put too much cream in there. Okay, so just a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> Feels good, doesn't it? Yeah. I, I just get so excited. Okay, now, if you look at the mix, really, you think there's more cream than there's fish, which it is. And if you mix it together, you go, I'm not going to make a sausage out of this. Oh, nice, chef. Put the scallops in there. I'm still not going to make a sausage out of this. So now I need to put a bit of herbs in there. I like to put a bit of chives. I love the flavor of the onions. But you know, you can use tarragon, chervil, parsley, marijuana, anything you want. Some people get it, some people don't. And the magic of salt. Salt, obviously, as the first effect of the salt is to season your dish. The second is to cook the protein of the fish. I know what I'm doing, people. And if you look, by mixing the salt, in the mix, look at it, look at it, I've done nothing, this is not magic, 
Ladies and gentlemen, not magic. Look. Hey? Yeah. You are boring. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Just give me a bit of love. All right. See, this stock is already boiling. I promise you, if you were using the stove, you would still, you would still be waiting for this to, to boil. And it's still clean. You like that? You know, clean, look, like, clean. And you can even see yourself in it. Mm, mm. Oh, that's nice. All right. I'm going to need someone to help me here. Is there a lady in the audience? Is there a lady in the audience who would like to help? Mademoiselle? All right, I'll show you one and you do the next one, okay? Okay. Don't be scared. It's only cooking. All right, so I'm putting about 100 grams of mix here. That's 95, sorry. <laughs> okay? Yep. And then I'm just going to push it towards me to shape that beautiful sausage. Yeah? Yeah. Then I'm going to roll it up. Roll it up. Yes? Yes. So far, so good. So far, so good. Then I'm going to pinch this end. I'm going to pull to do a little knot. Mm -hmm. Yes? The then I'm going to pinch and then roll. Roll, roll, <laughs> until it's nice and firm. Oh God, I just seen it. <laughs> until it's nice and firm. And the firmness is very, can you make sure? <laughs> uh, oh, sorry. Oh. Wow, what did I do? <laughs> what? It's all right, man. It's all right? OK, good. And then, and then you do another knot on the other ends. Sorry, buddy. Voila. Can you do that? OK, so I'm going to put 100 grams. Here you go. I'll judge you. No, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. Push a little bit more. See, you've got a bubble there. Okay. You don't want the bubble, so Push. that's it. Okay, now roll. Roll a bit more. Sl yeah, without pushing, darling. Sorry. Yeah, no. Uh, sorry, okay. one second, one second. Yeah, and then just roll, just roll with you and look at that. Rolls itself. Okay. Cut. Cut. And you can do it a lot. You, that's right. There we go. There we go. Not too bad, eh? Okay, is there a guy in the audience who's good with sausages too? The great, the great. Thank you very much, Ali. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, before we do that, I just want to show you quickly something. You know that you always need one of those because your pot has been on the stove for too long. Look at this. No need on this one. Right? Not because I've got chef's hand, it just doesn't happen. And now what I'm going to do is. Pass it through to the next container. It smells good, doesn't it? And because you've got two chicks on your bum, I need to balance things out. You need to put a bit more cream. Yeah? One for here, one for there. All right. J'ai besoin du... du, du de ça. De ça. Ouais, avec de l'eau dedans. Ok. 
You ready? You've seen, you want me to show you one more time or you, you're good? Give it a go. You give it a go. You're a big boy, I'll give you a big sausage. <laughs> Here we go. Sound like you're jealous. <laughs> let, let me help you. Oh, you're Greek, man. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's going to expand. Be careful. <laughs> look at that. Perfect. Malaka. Pour les mots français. I'm glad, I'm just happy to see people who like cooking. Because sometimes you do cooking demonstration, uh, demonstration in front of people, like, you know, and it's nice to see that everybody's interested with appliances and then cooking recipes and so on. Beautiful. You've done this before, haven't you? Greek sausage is back. Do you want a job? <laughs> you offering? Fantabulous. Here we go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers, buddy. Thank you. you see, cooking is not that hard when you love it. I'm just waiting for the next uh, little uh, thing. Have you got any questions? Yes, love. Is that an exhaust It is an exhaust here. And look at this one here. Mummy! He was working. Oh, let, okay, this one. Look. Hey. Is that not sexy? Yes. And you don't have to wash it because you switch it off and then it goes down again. Where's it going? It goes through the. To Mama's house. Where? The roof. It goes outside. <laughs> That's how good it is. That stock is already boiling. Seriously, any questions? Anyone? Okay, now, if you don't want to use scallops, you can use prawns. You can do any prawns, you can get mountain bay bugs, lobster. You can steam some uh, mussels and then you can fold it in. Uh, but you can use as many different herbs as you want in there. You can use salmon if you don't want to use flatheads. The most important thing is um, is that cream and protein ratio and the salt. That's the only thing you have to worry about. <sighs> Any questions? The shells, the crab shells. Yes. You're going to use those? I've, I've only, well, you, you can keep the shells and then you can make a soup out of it if you yeah. want to. Yeah, definitely. You just give it a good blaze, pass it through a little sieve and bob with your uncle. Always, always. Le <laughs> boudin? That's my next step. So I'm going to put some water here. And I don't want the water to boil whatsoever. Because if it boils, what happens is the protein and the fat splits. So when you take the sausage skin off, then it just breaks into puree. Um, so it needs to be about. You're fired. <laughs> so, darling, I need, I need some spinach as well. Some spinach. <laughs> no, of course, they're, they're fantastic people. I would be nobody without them. All right, so I just put some water in here. So make sure you don't boil it. Then you just put it in there for up to 10 minutes maximum, maximum. And then what you can do is put them in a the fridge, forget about it until dinner or even the next day. So all you have to do is take it back from the fridge, poach it again for 10 minutes, it's warm, and then you can 
It's it. Thank you very much, boss. So when, it's cooking in the glad wrap, yes. And afterwards, you can't eat the glad wrap. You need to take it off. <laughs> you can try to chew on it, but it's pretty hard. Okay. Oh, no, we're in the fridge. Sorry. Sorry, sir. In the fridge, leave, leave it in the glad wrap because you need to push it again. What you can do, though, if you want to take it off of the glad wrap after it's cooked, then you can use the steamer to reheat it. So you don't have to submerge it in, in water. I just need for this to uh, boil, if that's okay. Is it true, and I got this from Wikipedia, so you know it's right, <laughs> that you train to be in the circus, is that correct? Long, long, long time ago, what yes. What path was that that took you to the circus? Um, the path of craziness, and I think I'm still a little bit crazy, but um, yeah, I just wanted to run away with the circus, like a lot of kids. Some are scared of clowns, I wasn't. I wanted to be one. Um, so from the age of 13 years old, I went to the circus school. And um, by the age of 15, I started cooking. I, I, I changed career. Still with crazy people. Yes. Right. Well, let's, let, let's put it this way. My, my mom first was a great cook. A really, really great cook. And the reason why my mom was a great cook is because her dad was a chef. And also my dad was a chef. And her granddad was a chef too. And I've got uncles and cousins in the family that are also in the industry. So not I, was, I wasn't born with a, a silver, silver spoon in my mouth, a wooden spoon instead, but a lot of food. And food has always been home. All right, I think we're ready now. Thank you for the question. So, obviously, we can't wait for that sauce to reduce. It might take another 10 or 12 minutes. So, I've got some sauce that Jamie Oliver did earlier. Oh, look at that. Mm. Finger looking good, I tell you that. Okay, I've got a bit of spinach here, which I just blanched very quickly. I'm just going to do a little um, half moon here. And what I'm doing here is I want the Buddha to be holding itself right here. Are you following? Okay, oops. Are you ready? Yeah. Drum roll. <laughs> oh, get more champagne into you guys. Is that yours? There oh. we go. There was a bit of a wait at the end, kids, but here we go, Manu Silky Sausage.